Welcome to the PSCAD video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be covering the following. A general tour of the module black boxing feature. Adjusting black box feature options. Creating a black box from a module component. Generated component and files. PSCAD 4.5 has a new feature called black box. It can easily convert schematic diagrams into compiled secure source code. In this tutorial, we will be using an example that comes with PSCAD, the Seagrave Benchmark Project. This example project includes a monopolar HVDC system and simple controllers for both the inverter and rectifier. We will illustrate how to black box all the inverter side controls into a simple component. This new component will be fully configured and complete with compiled source code. In order to perform a black box conversion, the control system must be entirely contained with a module component. A perfect example of this is the inverter controls. Before we begin, it is important to ensure that a few options are set. First, go to the Application Options dialog and navigate to the Dependencies category. Here, you can change the current Fortran compiler. For this tutorial, we will be using the Intel Visual Fortran 12 compiler. Press OK to save your changes. Now let's build and run the project to ensure that it is error-free. As you can see, the build message window contains no warnings or errors and the simulation runs without any problems. Before we proceed, we need to ensure that the black box options are adjusted properly. Go to the Application Options dialog and navigate to the black boxing category. Select a default folder where black boxing will place generated files such as the source and compiled object files. Next, choose whether or not to compile object files from the generated source code. If append to target namespace is selected, PSCAD will automatically populate additional static library and object files. This can be seen in the project settings dialog link tab. If you decide not to generate object files, a path to the generated source file will be created. Target namespace is the destination project where new black box definitions are added. You can select any project that is currently loaded in the workspace. Note that if anything other than current is selected, you cannot automatically instantiate a new component. The generation option allows you to either create the definition by itself or have an instance attached to your mouse pointer. The parameters option chooses whether component defaults come from the source definition or that of the module instance. Press OK to save your changes. Now we are ready to inspect the module schematic that we wish to black box. An important point to remember when black boxing a schematic. There are components in PSCAD that have no equivalent code counterpart. They are sliders, dials, buttons, switches, and output channels. In addition, the circuit cannot contain any electrical nodes, branches, or devices. Removing occurrences of these devices is relatively simple. For example, this schematic contains a slider component. The best way to deal with the slider would be to move it out of this schematic entirely. It can be replaced with an import component and a corresponding parameter or port connection. This would enable control of the signal after the component is black boxed. The second is to simply replace the slider with a constant tag defining its current value. This is not the recommended way because that value would be hard coded once the schematic is black boxed. For the purposes of this tutorial, it is simple to illustrate, so that's what we'll do. All output channels should be deleted. We are now ready to black box this module into a simple component with a source and object files. 
to do this, simply right click on the component and select black box module. The inset video shows the contents of the destination folder. Notice that a folder is created with the same name as the definition. Inside, you will find a new source file, a folder called IF12, named after the Intel 12 compiler. The IF12 folder contains the generated object file. Back on the canvas, a new non-module component instance is created. Its graphics are duplicated from the source module. All messages coming from the black box algorithm are displayed in the message table. Also notice that the new component definition is created and appended to the definition list of this project. The black box component instance is linked to this definition. Open the project settings dialog box and click on the link tab. You will notice that an absolute path has been inserted into the field. This is the path to the object file just created by the black box feature. Now let's have a look at our new black box component. The component graphic is duplicated from the source module. The source module in this tutorial does not have any parameters, but if it did, they would also be duplicated here. In summary, the black box algorithm does the following creates a new component definition, creates an object file, sets up a disdin and dsout segments, sets the storage used by the components under the storage directive, creates the component as a runtime configurable so they can be multi-instanced, and finally, the call segments will include the appropriate arguments from existing port connections and parameters. Now let's test our new black box component. Since the link to the appropriate object file is already set, we can just run the case. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If there are any videos that you would like to see made in the future, please let us know. Thank you and enjoy PSCAD.